Got another tutorial for you today. This one has been requested a couple of times, so here it is. It is the, uh, the easy tutorial on how to do the paracord bracelet in two colors. So we have navy and white. And of course we have our clip from cdwplus.com, or Creative Design Works. It's a 5 8 inch clip. And all my other tutorials, these are the ones that I use, and I always recommend them. And then my cord comes from campingsurvival.com. I've always gone there. So let's jump in. I always say to use about 10 feet of, uh, of cord. So in this case, I took a 5 foot piece of navy and a 5 foot piece of white. And I melted the ends, pushed them together, and then you have the 10 foot length that you need. So we're going to go to our two working ends. We're going to take half of the clip, feed the two ends through the top. So down through the top. You guys can make this a lot easier on yourself by when you heat up and melt the ends, you can flatten them out so they go through the clip a lot easier. So we'll pull that access through. So we have a little loop. And then what we're going to do with that is pull the two tag ends back up and through that loop that we just created. And then we're just going to work this cord so we can get the melted part on the bottom. Just like that. So that's how your first end should look. We're going to go down the tags. And we're going to feed it through the top. Down through the top. And pull that through. And then this is where we're going to measure our wrist size. This is really the only part that is tricky. Once you guys got the weave down, I say this is the hardest part. At least measuring it by yourself and for yourself. Clip that together and then just tighten it a bit. Sorry about bumping the camera. You want some wiggle room so it's not too tight. But I think that's good right there. So we'll unclip that. And then we're ready to go for the weave. So right now, you can decide what which color you'd like to be in the middle. So if we take a look at this old bracelet, purple and white. Purple is in the middle, and that means we crossed over with purple first. So if you guys, guys have seen my other tutorials, you're familiar with the crossing over and, and the the general technique of everything. So whichever color we want in the middle we're going to cross over first. So in this case I'm going to want navy in the middle. So we're going to cross that over to the right, over the top. We're going to bring our white piece over the navy, like so. And we're going to bring it around our two strands, the main bracelet, and that loop that you created with the navy strand, you're going to pull it through, and holding it in place, you're going to tighten both ends to make your first knot. So now our navy is on the right and our white is on the left. We're going to take the navy cross it over the top, bring the white down over the navy, feed it around the whole bracelet and up and through that loop 
that you created with the navy tag, pull it through, and pull tight. You can already start to see the pattern showing through. Again with the navy, bring the white down and over, back around the whole bracelet, up and through that loop. And pull tight. With each weave that you do, I really recommend you pull tight on each one, just so that you get the cleanest looking bracelet at the end. If you don't pull tight and uh, pull evenly on each one, it can, it can be kind of a mess and it's not going to look as, as clean as it could. But it takes some practice. So navy over the top, white down and over the navy and around the back and through that loop. Navy crosses over, the white crosses down and over around the back and through that loop. You guys want to keep going with me feel free if you guys got it down you can either pause it or clip to the end of the video and see how we end it or keep chugging along so that color that you want in the middle with the two colors if you're doing the two color paracord bracelet that's always going to be the color that you cross over no matter which side it's no matter which side it's on that is the strand that you're going to be crossing over so it's on the left we're going to cross it over the top the white goes over the navy back around and through that loop making sure to pull tight on each one Once you guys make a few bracelets, the weave is pretty simple and you can make the make the bracelets pretty quickly. I'm going to speed up just a little bit just to get to the end. The cool thing about uh, the two-tone or the two-color weave is that if we weren't using uh, a contoured clip, uh, which just means that it's curved and it is supposed to just fit around your wrist one way, if we were doing this with uh, just an all-flat clip or we were using um, the version of a bracelet with no clip, you could reverse it. So now that you see the white is in the middle and navy is on the outside as opposed to navy being in the middle. So it's kind of cool. If you guys would like to try that, you can check out my other uh, tutorial on how to make, the, make a paracord bracelet without a buckle. It's very simple. It's actually very simple. Go check that out. Leave a comment. Let me know if this guy's help. <clears throat> if this helps you guys, um, leave your leave your comments. Leave your feedback. If you guys have any requests, comment down below, and I'll try my best to respond to those and fulfill any requests that you guys have. So we're gonna do one more weave at the bottom. 
and tighten that. Making sure to pull that one tight. And there is our weave. We're going to clip the tag ends. And then with our lighter, we're going to finish off the ends to get a clean look. Just be careful, this uh, this nylon cord, the paracord can get very hot when it melts and it can stick to your fingers and can be a mess um, if, you, if you hold the lighter on there for a while. So there you have it guys. There is our two-tone paracord bracelet. Leave a comment down below if this helped, if you guys have any requests. Any feedback that you guys might have, leave it down below. Thank you guys for watching. You guys are great. Thank you for all the support with my videos. Check out all my other videos. Check out the other tutorials. And we will see you guys soon. See ya.